going to demonstrate how to replace a screen on a Galaxy S6 Edge. The phone I'll be using is a working phone. As I stated in the other videos, it was flashed wrongly. So I'll be using this phone as a demonstration, but not actually replacing the screen, but just showing you all the process you all have to go through while placing your own screen. Now, since this phone has been open on many occasions the back is not stuck to the frame so in that said if you're new to this channel please like subscribe give me the thumbs up and also comment with all that said, let's get to it. In replacing your screen, you need a heat gun or a hair dryer. This one is a heat gun with two speeds. You heat up the edges of the screen and you keep touching you heat and you keep touching when you find it's hot enough then you take a suction cup and you put it to the bottom now you could either use a suction cup or you could pry hair but since this was up already I would use a suction cup it's up you then take a playing card and work your way around the back cover I would like you to keep one thing in mind that this is glass it will break so be very careful when taking it out if you break your glass I'm not responsible so use if it's the first time you'll be opening the back removing the back cover on your phone use a plain card then you get your screwdriver and you start removing the screws now most times all the screws will not come out because of the glue that was already on the phone but make just make sure that while turning them you hear a clacking sound that means it's out Whenever I'm opening a phone, I usually have a magnet 
close by. So when I take out a screw, I'll be placing it on the magnet. Now there are certain phones that the screws would be different sizes. These phones you have to be very careful with. But this one, all the screws are actually the same. If you want to make sure most of the screws are out, you would use a tweezer. And to get them out. This black portion here is the charging pad for your battery, the wireless charging pad. You don't have to take it out. I missed one. You don't have to take it out simply because it's glued on the edges. It's stuck to the frame on the edges. But to be on the safe side, you could push something underneath it if you notice it slip the way in then you will start prying out your phone once you push you get an opening Then you work your way around, which you have to be very careful with. You start from the top because there is the charging port once if you start from the bottom the charging port will be stuck here you won't be able to get it out so you work your way from the top coming down you put your you see the way the wireless charger is it's been connected here that is your power on and power off as you notice and the phone came on the next thing you would do is this is the battery connector you disconnect the battery as simply as that the wireless connectors you will disconnect them as simply as that you will disconnect this cable here then there are two screws that's the charging port down here 
you have uh, two screws holding it but on this phone there is only one because of the opening frequently I misplace one of the screws this is your charging port you disconnect the two wireless cables it has another cable right here you snap out then you go gently That is your S6 motherboard. You put it aside. Then you come to the charging port board you walk your way around and you remove it that's your charging port right here in a previous video I showed how to replace your charging port if the charging port goes bad you have to replace this board you put it aside and to get your battery out you would use do not use a metal Tool because that the battery is connected or it has glue on the edges of the just the edges of the battery that has glue so you would get a prying tool and get it underneath the battery and just lift it out gently try not to puncture your battery put it aside then you would get this is your screen the battery was connected here just on the edges the center head didn't have any glue you'll get your screen or should I say your digitizer 
you would put it down. You will get the other one and put it side by side with it. Then you take out these components. and you place it on your new screen. Your new screen won't be coming with that. So each one you take out, just make sure that you place it Then you go back, you take out the other one and you do the same thing, you put it in. When you through, you replace the components back. This is all there is in changing an S6 screen. Just be careful when you're removing the battery, you use a plastic tool or your playing card the prying tool to pry out the battery and then push the playing card underneath this one was easy because it has been out already i'm using this phone to demonstrate to you all how to change certain parts on it i will not show you all how to replace the components back on the phone but if you're in doubt each time you take out something which everything fits in everything has its groove it's just like putting a computer together you cannot make a mistake the only thing you have to be very careful about is when putting these connectors back when putting these connectors back just make sure that you have them line up when you press it you'd hit go click that means it's in just make sure everything is lined up and when you press it it has to do a clicking sound if you don't hear that clicking sound that means it's not there something is wrong make sure you hear the clicking sound with all that said that's it for now until the next one. Goodbye.